Hey Magic fans, welcome back. Captain Clyde here speaking to you and we're on the trail. Box 2 Draft Boosters as we chase the Box EV. What's better, Set Boosters, Draft Boosters? Well everybody says Set Boosters are better. From the last box they might be correct. But let's take a look and find out this beautiful Saturday. Alrighty. Let's get to cracking. So not any real, no real news to talk about today. Um, just normal stuff. Nothing too special going on. I'm gonna scoot this over. He ain't really that important. There we go. All right. So not starting off too hot here, but can't always start with a bang. Just a rare, a couple of commons. So remember guys, like and subscribe so I can keep these videos. Oh, oh, that's pretty sweet. First Mythic, Borderless All Rooms Epiphany. That's probably worth a little bit of cash. That's a good start. Only three packs in. Like I said guys, remember like, subscribe, support the channel so I can keep doing these box openings for you. I love doing them and I hope you guys like watching them because this is just too much fun. I spend the money and you guys get to watch the enjoyment. Ooh, doo -doo -doo. Oh, well, there we go. There's a nice mythic hit. Gold Span Dragon. Sweet. Mythic number two of the, of the box. So this box is actually off to a real good start for it being a draft box. Go over there. So I'll give you guys a little Strixhaven news while we're opening this up. As you guys know, Strixhaven is uh, out. Pre-orders are being taken. I'm happy to announce I was able to secure another three cases of set boosters and one case of draft boosters. Oh, that's a nice one. Uh, so we'll be able to do this again with Strixhaven, which I think might be a better set. I might even be able to get me a couple collector boxes to open depending on how things go. So yeah, oh, nice. Mythic number three. Check it out guys, three mythics, right side of the box. Hmm. We'll have to keep that in mind next time we open the next box. See if that's a, maybe that's a theme. That's a nice foil rare. Not too shabby. But anyway, Strixhaven, yeah, I've made my orders, so look forward to that, guys. Like I said, three boxes of set boosters, one box of draft boosters to crack. We can do box EVs, see what we get out of it. Ought to be a good time. Uh, I think when they come in, I think I'm going to do the draft boxes first, just because the set boosters are so much funner to open, just because they're so, so packed with good stuff, it seems like. Because you got the art cards, you got the lists, you can get two to three rares. I mean, it just seems like it's a better thing. Oh, 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 look at this. Look at this. Regular foil, full art, mythic, uh, Tyvon Kell, number four for the box. Wow. That's pretty sweet. Now this, this is a box. Like all money cards in the mythics. This is the kind of stuff you expect from set booster. What am I doing? That's a rare. That goes here. Good lord. I'm all excited. I don't know where to stick my cards. This is just too sweet. But yeah, like I said, guys, Strixhaven, one draft booster box, or one draft booster case, three cases of set boosters. So I look forward to that. So keep an eye out for it. It's going to be a good time once it starts. And as always, I'll give you the box EV. I'll give you every case EV. We'll break down some numbers. It'll be a real good time. Like I, like I started to mention earlier before I got interrupted by a mythic, please give me a like and a subscribe. That way I can keep opening these boxes for you, giving this information, this news. Tell your friends, tell your family, get them to watch a couple of videos. Everybody likes to watch packs open. I mean, heck, what do you think I do with my free time when I'm looking, looking on the YouTube I go to these exact same videos and check them out. Just because it's fun to watch packs get cracked. You can see those sweet pulls. 
and the regular foil. Uh, so in other news, uh, some people have asked, uh, Alex in particular has been bugging me. A little shout out to Alex there. Uh, am I going to do any boxes um, of the new remastered set? Well, I do have three boxes coming. Unfortunately, that's all I can get. Uh, I do often like to try to save a couple of those boxes. Oh, Mythic number five. Wow, now this is a box. Uh, I normally try to save a couple boxes of stuff like that to sell later if the price goes up. You know, try to make a little bit of money. Um, but with this one, since I can't hardly... Oh my... Oh. Mythic foil. Sweet baby Jesus. Look at that. Oh, it's not even... Here, we're just, we'll put it over the Retho Mystics. Mythic. <laughs> Turned me a little funny there. One, two, three, four, six Mythics in this box, guys. One of them a foil. This is phenomenal. Maybe it's not just set boosters that can give you the money. Because this, I mean, to be honest with you, this is pretty sweet. I had set booster boxes that didn't pull Mythics this good. I mean, the only thing that really saved them was the list, and that wasn't too much of a savings, honestly. Alright, guys. We're on the last row here. So, yeah, look out for the remastered box openings uh, for the new set. Uh, time Spiral. Um, I'm thinking real hard about it. To be honest with you, I think I am going to open them uh, on the channel for you guys. So definitely give me a like and some subscribe because this stuff ain't cheap. Um, but it looks like those cards, like, the prices on some of those cards seem really high. Like, especially the ones on the, on the, old, uh, the old borders that got reprinted. Like... I mean, people are selling them for so much, like the old, like the reprint of the Ponder, like it's been in almost every format, but the, there's a foil version, it's going for like 70 bucks, I mean, sweet baby Jesus has so much money, just for Ponder, but it's the old card frame, and people think nostalgia is going to be a thing, and I mean, if the rate is going, it just might be, I mean, it could be the new thing, I think a foil uh, thought season, the old frame, I think it's going for like close to 80 online right now. And who knows, those prices may go up once actually we start getting back together again and actually having games. Because, you know, as of right now, you know, we're doing everything digitally. The only time you're going to play with somebody is if you know them or they're in your house or over the video. We actually start opening things up to tournaments and people start hanging out at card stores again. Boy, it's hard telling how much prices some of these cards will jump. And I'll be honest with you guys, I really do think the card prices are going to have a real, uh, a real peak or a climb or a spike, whatever you want to call it. When it actually gets to the point where they're usable again, you know, like in every day, you can just go play. Because then people are like, well, i got to have the card now. I can't just play online or I can't just proxy with my friends. You know, I've got to have these cards. And I really think it's going to cause a spike in the market and drive up some of the cards. And I think that's one of the things that we're kind of seeing right now. Um, you know, Kaldheim started out with a really low box EV. It was awful. It was like $60, $65. I mean, just ridiculously awful. But now it's retraced all the way back up to 80. And I really think that part of that, nice alternate art, is the fact that people are starting to get ready for everything to reopen, which means they got to have cards, which means they got to buy cards. Because they haven't been buying cards because they didn't think they'd be able to play them. All right, guys. So once again, real quick video. Looking like about 10 minutes. As always, like, subscribe. Hit that little notification bell so you know when my new stuff comes out. Tell your friends, tell your family, let them know, help, help me support the channel so I can keep doing these, these box openings for you because I really do like doing them. And the last thing we get, oh, it's just a regular rare. Oh well. But I don't think we really can complain, guys. I mean, this was a pretty sweet box. I mean, we're talking all money mythics. Like The only mythic in here I think not worth at least five bucks, I think, is this one. And it, I think it might be worth close to five bucks. I mean, we're looking at like, you know, it's like 15, 15, that's like 30. That might be at least 10, 40. Uh, that's probably 50. I mean, we're like $60 in cars just right here, just for one box. That's a heck of a box, guys. So, wow. Real good time, real fun box opening. This really inspires me to open the next four boxes because that was a real good pull compared to last time. 
that's like I said on the level of like said boosters like wow just too sweet so as always guys like subscribe hook me up with some friends and get out there guys it, this little thing's blown over let's play some magic let's get down to local LGS you know support the local businesses buy a couple singles let them know you care and as always guys when you're out there be kind so until next time guys I'll see you later